Welcome back, GMV Nation. This is your host, GMV Reacts, and today we're doing something different, something new. Um, I made a promise to my mom's friend. She's a book author and, and um, writer, and um, she helped produce this book that I'm about to read today, uh, introducing Daedra, the dreamer, an encounter with the leprechaun. Um, this is my first book read. I've never done a book read on a reaction channel before, so this will be a first. The one that dedicated to a good friend of the family. You dig what I'm saying? So, without further ado, let's get right into it. This is by Sylvie C. Humphreys. And the crazy part is, for what y'all don't know, my mom looks just like her friend. And her friend looks just like my mom. Think I'm playing? Watch, watch this, bro. Look at this lady, right? This is the author, Sylvie, right? Now, I'm going to show you an edit of a picture of my mom right next to Sylvie, face to face. Tell me they look don't look alike. Tell me they don't look alike, because they do. And, like, some points, sometimes I get them confused. And I know I'm a. Like, I remember I would go to the same, I remember we all used to go to the same church and I'd be like, Mom, I you sure we're supposed to be at work? Like, it'd be, it'd be, it'll be crazy. They look crazy, like, they look super identical. Like, it's, it's insane. But without further ado, outside of that, the fact that my mom has a double ganger and that the fact that the, my mom's friend has a double ganger, which is my mom. Let's get into it. Right. And for those that don't know, double ganger is someone that looks like you but isn't related to you. I got a double ganger. I work with them. It's crazy. You might have a double ganger too. There's a there's someone there's one person that looks like somebody that's not related to them in the world. It's weird, but that's just how the way the, the world works. But um, let's go ahead and get into this book. Get into today's masterpiece. Supporting a book author, an upcoming book author, and I believe this is her first book as well, so let's get it. This is, again, Deja, the Dreamer, an encounter with a leprechaun. Deja, the Dreamer, an encounter with a leprechaun. Deja, the Dreamer... Uh, An Encounter with the Leprechaun is the first book in a children's book series called Deja the Dreamer, The Power of the Imagination. So I was right. This was her first. This is her first book. Published by Kindle Direct Publishing. Copyrighted at um, 2022. Sylvie C. Humphreys. All rights reserved. Nice, nice. See, I want to make a book. I can't wait. It's going to be dope. Um, this is very inspiring. Wow. Let's get it. So this is the first image, as you can see. And here is the next image. All right, so uh, Deidre, um, Deidre, the dreamer, an encounter with a leprechaun is the first book in the children's book series called Deidre, the dreamer, um, the power of the imagination. This book was birthed out of an observed observe need for more children's books that acknowledge and attempt to address the myriad of challenges facing our children, ranging from the age of five to adolescent years, and sometimes beyond, particularly as it relates to living in what society deems to be broken homes, home in which one or both parents are not present, or contexts in which, or in context with, in which there is only one child. However, I do not wish to refer to such situations as such. I shall refer to them as dynamic households due to their ever-evolving nature. Therefore, as the author, I perceive a dire need to present a medium through which growing children could find some solution. Some solace in the power and the power of their imaginations. I dedicate this book and the rest of the series to all families who can relate to 
the aforementioned reality of dynamic households, but especially to my very own daughter, Imani, who coincidentally is one of those kids. Now she's referring to her daughter. I don't have no children, all right? I don't have no zero, 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 zero kids. She's referring to her child. Yes, 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 the author has a child. Hi, Imani, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? I remember I met her child. Child was so adorable. All right, so is so her child is being raised in a co-parenting and only child context, and thanks to the grace of God, her maternal grandparents and cordial co-parenting dynamics, Imani is being raised in the most loving and supporting way possible. So that's beautiful. <laughs> Made me want to tear up. <laughs> that grown man want to cry. <laughs> All right, let's get back into it though. is page seven. Oh, um, Deidre, the dreamer, an encounter with the leprechaun, once upon a dream in a land far, far away, in a little small house on top of a big hill, lived a curious little girl by the name of Deidre. Deidre stayed with her father, stepmother, and two older stepbrothers. She was a loner because her stepbrothers often made fun of her peculiar ways. After all, they were much older than she was. Dedra was quite the dreamery, you see, but not according to her, for in her eyes, all of her dreams were as real as real could be. Dedra dreamed of flying elephants and dancing bears. She dreamed of ice cream, fountains, and candy-coated stairs. Oh, she Willy Wonka. The Edra was quite certain she had magic. Look, my apologies. The Edra was quite certain she had magical powers. She even imagined herself as a princess being locked away by her evil stepmother in a tall, tall tower. Oh, it's getting interesting. The Edra, the dreamer, an encounter with the leprechaun. All right. So this is like the cover without the uh, text on it, the cover text from the first, uh, the cover page. But let's get into it. I like the illustration. I wonder who drew this. Who drew this for you, uh, author Sylvie? Where, did you illustrate this or you have a friend, a fellow uh, partner that helped you? develop the art for this. I'm very interested in knowing. All right, so here is page number. Ooh. Figure out what page this is. What page will be on? Page seven, eight, nine, ten. We're on page ten. One day, while taking her usual stroll down the path that led to the enchanted forest, the Adria noticed something shining ever so bright in the distance. The Asia was excited by just what she might find. She galloped merrily to that spot. Treasures in mind. Crash! Bump! She was startled by a sudden noise in the nearby shrubs. Oh, this art is even exotic. This art is very nice. I like the textures and the way the art is being uh, presented, you know, as an illustrator and artist myself and a uh, future author. I like this demonstration of what a children's book is supposed to look like professionally. All right. She was pleasantly surprised to see the little green creature that lurked just two feet away. And in all the excitement, a leprechaun, she exclaimed. He's just sitting there, <laughs> like like he, he he like he's seen he, like he never seen a human before. Like he's he's sitting there like he's like like he's used to seeing humans or something. That's interesting. I like how the leprechaun looks like the Lucky Charm cereal guy. <laughs> That's like my first and reference, my first thought. All right, let's get to it. Next page. His beady green eyes were beaming. And his hands were up in the air, 
perplexed at not knowing whether to be happy or whether to fear. But just as he was, deciding the shiny object caught Deirdre's eye once more, and for a brief moment, she forgot about the leprechaun lying there than before. Oh, you know I'm about to get into my voice acting bag. You ready? You see, body gold, marbles. They both cried out. They both cried out in surprise, as she, as would someone who won a race, but then the wrong prize. Oh, I see. It's, this is like a rhyming book. Like it has rhymes to it and stuff. It's like regular um, talking situations. I was right, um Deja looked away and then looked at the pot once again. She secretly hopped. She could brighten the leprechaun's day. Oh, my bad. She secretly hoped she can brighten the leprechaun's day. Why did I say hoped? Hope. Hope, ladies and gentlemen. Hoped. So let's see how she was able to brighten the leprechaun's day. Unhappy about what she did, fine. She pulled out her magic wand and waved it two times. Where'd she get the magic wand? Abracadabra! Cadabra Kadir! Abracadabra! Cadabra Kadir! Please make a pot of gold appear. Yeah. Yeah, you know my voice acting bag is, you know, I'm really out here with it, you know? Okay, let's go. <laughs> the angel was amazed to see the pot of marbles turn to gold. And just like that, the leprechaun was a sight to behold. His bright green eyes lit up like a Christmas tree, and Deja was filled with pride and glee. I like I like the rhyming scheme. I like the rhyming scheme. Alright, I'm gonna do the leprechaun's voice for this one. It's a pot of gold! They both they both exclaimed, and after he thanked her off, they went along their merry ways. Wait, so sleep. So she um bright eyes, green eyes lit up like a Christmas tree, and they're just filled with bright and Oh, so a pot of gold actually appeared with her magic wand. That's amazing. All right, cool. Let's get it. Next page. Feeling good about the good deed she just did, Deja raced home for it was a good day indeed. She could not wait to share her adventure for tell she could tell. But just as she expected, her two older stepbrothers did not Oh, did not receive her well. All right, so with this page, the the last uh, half of the sentence before it ended kind of didn't blend well with the background. Uh, it was white words. So um, as an illustrator and as an uh, artist myself, I would suggest next time to have the words uh, have a stroke around the text so that way it'll um, make the words look more bolder and stand out from the background because I could tell these words don't have a uh, stroke on it and stroke is what adds that that uh, edge around it like you see how the drawing has a stroke around it when it's drawn it's a, it's a stroke it's a lining an outlining if the text had an outlining right here what says not receive her well you could see it better but I just so happen to know that it says that because the way that the words are forming all right, and because I'm already like halfway into the book, let's get it. This just my just a quick little uh, suggestion um, to the author. It's okay though. This is still a good read. Oh well, she thought. Oh my bad. Oh well, she thought. Where will I go next to dream big dreams? But before she could decide, the tired little Deja fell fast asleep. And that ends the book read. This was a good book read. Author, about the author. The author of this book, Sylvia C. Humphreys, is also the author 
of a poetry book published on Amazon.com called Nighttime Cries, The Soulful Yearnings of a Poetic Queen. She's originally from the Caribbean island of Dominica, but raised in Atlanta, Georgia, since she was a teenager. I, I knew partially this information already beforehand as far as the, the about information of the author because I know her personally. <laughs> My mom known her for over like a decade. So yeah, but um, outside of that though, let's keep on reading forward. She is a writer, an editor, a speaker, a trainer, and CPRW by profession. Uh, oh, CPR. Okay, okay. I was about to say, what does that mean? I know what that means now. Bridging her educational career background and love for God, the arts, the arts, empowerment, and psychology, Sylvie's life's purpose is to help others discover and walk in their life's purpose. The age of the dreamer, an encounter with a leprechaun, is the first book in her children's book series. It emphasizes the power of the imagination as a coping mechanism to deal with life's challenges. Accompany Daedra on her mind adventures as she constantly seeks ways to circumvent the circumstances of her blended family life. Amen. Nice book read, man. Definitely keeping this in my in my uh, list of children's books. I got so many old school children's books, but it's good to read a new, read up on a new children's book, especially for somebody I know personally. This is awesome. This is interesting, and it really inspires me. To move forward into my uh book reading and what i want to do next for my journey and my adventure as a, a promise book author i will i can't wait to be able to finally embark upon my uh journey as a, as a upcoming author and actually release my first children's book so thank you for uh sending me this the link to this on amazon and which you can buy this, by the way, guys, you can buy this book on Amazon and you can read it to, to your liking. And, and I hope that you all purchase this book. I will leave a link to the book in the description down below and in the comment section. This is my first children's book read. Um, if y'all have any other readings that y'all would like for me to pursue, please do leave it in the comment section down below. I don't care what type of book it is. Um... If y'all want me to read it, just leave me leave it down below. Whether it's a manga for the manga readers, anime people, um, for people that are just into uh, uh, novelty books, graphic books, graphic novels. I'm actually trying to get back into uh, reading more books. I read a lot of the Bible. I'm a Christian faith, so I read a lot of the Bible. That's the main book I usually read um, in my spare time. So it's good to read outside that and read other different things. Uh, most of my uh, information and knowledge that I gain is based through research online. Uh, so that's that's where I usually get my main information from. But being able to read, uh, again, different books from uh, from like physical copies is really... Uh, all, it's, it gives me that old school feeling. Okay, we made it. We did something that um, that still is still being pursued to this day and it's interesting to see that okay this the, the uh, people still like physical copy books over, over, over digital books and there's the audio books too where people like the audio books and the physical copy book that's another suggestion for you sylvie um if you uh thought about it uh, or you haven't thought about it yet uh i would i would suggest to make an audio book of this as well for those that um would like to uh buy or purchase a digital copy of this if you uh, make that available for them, they can buy a digital copy of this and listen to the audio of it. Um, and you can narrate the audio yourself. Or if you like me to do it, I'll do it. I'll volunteer to do that. I love supporting the people that, you know, support me and uh, have my best interest in heart. So, uh, like I said, I promised you I was going to make a video on this. And I kept to my promise. And I, I'm so thankful and grateful that I didn't uh, procrastinate on this because I, I began busy so the fact that I was able to put put uh, put some time to the side to do this um, I'm really uh, blessed and happy to be um, inspired and motivated by other people that have created um, sources of 
knowledge for the younger generation, such as your daughter, and being able to have have that for the ongoing um, generations uh, after us. But without further ado, again, check out her book on Amazon. Link in the description down below and the comment section. I'm your host, Gene BBX, and stay tuned for my first children's book before this year ends. I'm going to be producing one, and I will let y'all know and keep y'all abreast when it is being ready to be released soon and very soon. In the meantime, between time, stay tuned for another reaction only on GMB Reacts. GMB out. Yes, sir. Road to 1K, as usual. If you like today's video, like, comment, subscribe, and share this video via Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or wherever you might want to share the link at via group chat or text on by your phone. Thank you again, and leave a comment section in the comment section down below. Peace. Single Skills Productions on the beat.